It's not financial advice, it's not legal advice for entertainment educational purposes only. And anything I say is my opinion. Please don't make any financial decision based on anything I say in these videos. That being said, hit the like button, subscribe button, all that YouTube algorithm stuff. So you get the videos I put them out. See what I'm thinking, see I'm analyzing that data. But like I tell every day, day they release us as false. And then it gives a false narrative of the market so we can make bad trading decisions. Listen, they want us to believe that the banks are doing well. The banks are hanging on by their fingernails. That so-called human error glitch when people didn't have access to their direct deposit, guess what? Six days later, there are people who still don't have access to their direct deposits. And Chase Manhattan Bank, or J.P. Morgan Chase, rather, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm old school, so it was Chase Manhattan Bank when I was coming up. But J.P. Morgan Chase... The biggest bank in the United States received direct deposits for some of their customers, and these customers still can't access their account. These banks are having liquidity issues. These banks need cash. They accepted the direct deposit from another institution, but they don't have the cash to give to the customer. What does that tell you? That, well, I'll tell you what it tells me. It tells me that the banks are in trouble. Imagine the big banks, Wells Fargo, Bank of America, Chase, TD Ameritrade. These banks are having liquidity issues. And then imagine what's going on at the regional banks. Imagine what's going on at the smaller banks. If the big dogs are having issues getting cash on hand to give to customers. Imagine what's going on at the smaller regional banks. The bottom line is this. The banks are about to crash. The banks are about to crash. When you have the biggest bank in America unable to give cash to their customers, that is a major problem. That tells me they're having real liquidity issues, and that tells me the economy is in trouble, but, but on the other hand, the good news, in my opinion, and I'm not trying to buy, hold, or sell any stock, but in my opinion, the good news is limited high risk loans to these bad actors, naked shorting AMC, naked shorting GME, because if the banks don't have cash for their customers, and we're not talking about loans, I'm talking about cash that belongs to the customers, if they don't have that, they are not going to be giving those high-risk loans to these naked shorters of AMC and GME. Anyway, please leave some comments. Tell me what you think. Do you think that Chase, not giving customers access to their money six, seven days after they got a direct deposit is an indication that the banks are low on cash? They're having liquidity issues. Anyway, have a great day. God bless. And I appreciate y'all on this journey with me.